doing a full closet makeover in this entire room. However, this is just going to concentrate on the actual shoe closet. Those are three Billy bookshelves um, with the extender tops on them. And um, I made them look like they were built in. This is basically completely renter friendly. The Billy bookshelves, I cost me roughly, they were $120. And then the foam boards were like 12 bucks. I'll take a picture of it once I have all the shoes inside so that you guys can take a look and see how versatile this really is. Moving along here, I just bought, I got this great mirror from Home Depot. Right underneath that mirror, I have a shelf. I've just built it. I'm just letting it dry right now. You'll see that in the main video once everything is complete. This is the Ikea long mirror. This is the one that um, actually has a... Uh, um, built-in shelving at the back or built-in storage um, that uh, I needed to be able to move everywhere it swivels so that uh, if I needed to get in that side closet there I can even though this closet seems to be uh, it's a room and everything there still isn't a lot of space um, this is the Alex um, shelf with the two drawers and I used some uh, I believe they're capital feet I have I have an extra set um, from Ikea just sitting on top to raise that up a little bit. I didn't want to hang that off the wall. I'm going to put some heavier things in there so just in case I am um, I, uh, going to use that for my jewelry. Over here I have space for shirts and whatnot with the black piping up and up down on the bottom. There's a shelf that I got for like four dollars that I just have sitting on something to raise it up to make it look like it's built in. Um, I have some more Ikea um, ba uh, baskets and, you know, bins and stuff like that. Uh, shelving. This is for my long area here for clothes. And the last thing that I did in this room was I made an island. And um, this was, uh, I bought these from Mar Facebook Marketplace for like $80, two shelves. And I, they were like a different color. I painted them white and then I spaced them so I could use this piece of wood that I bought for $5 and I, I made an insert and I just trimmed it out with more of that wood that I was telling you that was like a dollar a piece and like for a long piece and cut them and made it look like an insert. I had some old Ikea feet that I used for the bottom of it and I think I'm probably just going to like roll jeans or do something there. The plexiglass I had already, um, I had it cut to size. It's not like the best plexiglass, but I didn't want to pay any more money for anything. I wanted to do this on a complete budget. So I had it cut. I painted the top black and I put that on top. I may put a stencil underneath it. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Set up the black pipe here. So basically I had to like make sure that I found studs in behind and there wasn't studs right where I wanted the actual where I wanted the actual flanges to go. An 8 inch pipe. These are two 12 inch pipes, three, three quarter inches with a, a T in the middle. The same thing on top. Um, and that's how basically you had to tighten them while they were on it beforehand and then screw them in. This one you could turn around and around to make it tighter but the top one was a little bit more tricky. So this one I actually put a, an elbow on it with a, a connector that connected to the top of the T. And then because of the shape I had to kind of really work with the, with the size that I have. So I have a, um, a board back there that goes into the studs and this is a 12 inch pipe here and then that's an eight inch pipe there two inches for the nipples and lastly what I did here was I put the the pipe coming out of the walls up top I wanted to use all the space for the um, for the for the window and so once the clothes are on there then you won't see that window and then nobody can see them while I'm getting dressed so I thought that it was sort of a clever way to be able to still get a little bit of light but use that space up top one of the other things that I really wanted was a valet hook and they were very expensive when I looked them up online. I made this out of um, half inch pipe. I think that's a six inch nipple with a flange and, a, um, and an elbow and in that way I could have a valet hook for when I wanted to hang up my outfit that I'm ready to wear. Okay, 
case I'm going to start with the reveal and here it is. So this is the room coming in uh, with uh, all the clothes and everything accessories on inside. I'm going to start here with the wall of jeans and jean jackets, scarves and storage up top. So basically um, I use the pipes that I had. They're very thin pipes. They don't come out very they don't come out very wide. These are four inches. The top one is five inches. Um, I fit most scarves up there um, that are just looped around, easy access, easy to see, as well as my jeans are on S hooks. They're folded up with their legs up inside the tops, folded shut with a with the buckles, and then basically they look like this on the other side, right? and um, they fit nicely there. I think I had, I bought 60 of the S hooks from Amazon and they were uh, $28 I think for 60 of them and that housed pretty much that whole area there which was absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how many I got on there. Amazing storage and very very thin spot. Next I'm moving on to the accessory unit and inside I just have um, rolled up dresses that don't need to be hung because they don't wrinkle. Um, I didn't really have enough room to house all of my dresses so that's the option that I went through. I have um, storage bins up top for whatever you need, extra stuff plus purses to make it look pretty because it is a lovely little closet. I'm so excited. I'm so tired actually. I spent three or four days just putting clothes in. Moving across over here are for shirts and accessories. Um, inside here is my jewelry um, and then more watches and jewelry over here. Um, uh, so up top basically more storage area, more area to just decorate if that's what you want to do. These are um, I put sweaters and belts and um, sweat or Lululemon outfits and t-shirts and whatnot. More storage area on the bottom if I want to for pants and for long button-up shirts here. Over here were for my dresses. Um, I think that worked out nicely. Some are very, very long on the side. I did add extra feet to here because I thought that uh, it looked a little bit nicer. I did add another sort of feature here for hooks seems to work out well um, inside here is just makeup and sunglasses that's what that area is going to be for i have a valet hook here so that your outfits are ready to go um, you can organize that the night before i arranged my vests here especially for the winter time and inside here are my shoes quickly over cost these are black pipe. You can pretty much get those standard everywhere. Home Depot, Lowe's, everywhere sells them. You just figure out what size you need and go. They're very, very inexpensive. Um, the hooks I already told you for there, they were like 30 bucks for those. The mirror, $149, I believe, at Ikea. I bought these two cabinets. I got them off Facebook Marketplace for $250. The Alex desk was $55.00. The um, as is on that cabinet on the bottom was $45. The feet were, I think, uh, $14 each. Those feet down at the bottom were 20 something, um, I believe. Um, again, the black pipe, very standard. You can get that just about anywhere. IKEA sells these bins, no problem. I think those smaller ones are $3.99 a piece, and the bigger ones are $5.95 a piece. The uh, mirror I got a really good deal at Home Depot. I think that was $39. I made that I had scrap wood. Again, I used the scrap wood for the all the areas where I have the black piping. The um, shelving inside were Billy Book shelves. I got them at Facebook Marketplace for $120 for all three of them, plus the, plus the top extra pieces for them. I got that little um, cabinet down here for $10. Um, the inserts and these and the guts of everything I got those at Ikea they're like maybe $10 for some of them some of them you get bundles of things for 
um, not much more very very inexpensive and then this was eighty dollars for this five dollars for the wood and the plexiglass was free and I painted it and that was about it so all in all a very very inexpensive closet organization as long as you know how to kind of piece it together in your mind it works out to be fairly inexpensive thank you Thank you.